So there was actually an intro planned for this, but I don't know. I don't really see the point of it, so I'll just do my own thing. Uh, getting close or getting to the shooting test part of the, or bullet time of the video. So, yeah, let's do this. What's going on, guys? It is Shay here. Welcome back to another prop review. It's been a minute since I made a video. I've just kind of not necessarily been burnt out, but I don't know, just living life, I guess, not have really having to worry about just making videos or anything like that. But I do have some stuff coming up soon so yeah anybody who was interested stay tuned for that so uh yeah but that's not the point of today's video today we're going to be doing a prop review today and i've actually been really excited to make this revolver for a minute um the revolver looks very sexy and i love it so much um but it's also in a family of three or not necessarily a family but a series of revolvers and they're all and there's three of them um but we're going to get to that uh, when i talk about the history of this gun but yeah, so today everybody, I have for you all the Ruger Police Service 6 Revolver. Um, now this is uh, the second version or the, I guess you could say the, how would you even put it? The second in the series of uh, Security 6 Revolvers or the Security or the Security 6 series of revolvers. And this one happens to be my, happens to be my personal favorite. So yeah. Let's, let's get on, let's not, let's freaking stop all the talking, let's go in and get on with this. So uh, yeah, with that being said, let's begin. So the Ruger Police Service 6, or the Ruger Service 6, is the second in the series of the Security 6 series of revolvers from Ruger. Um, now, uh, the I'm going to talk about the history of revolvers, um, as I do plan on making the third of the series of revolvers, maybe soon. But the first one out of the series is the Ruger Security 6, which is, I guess you could say, the first and the biggest brother out of all of these. Um, the Security 6 is chambered in 357 Magnum and was manufactured all the way back in 1972. So this year, that marks, if I'm correct, uh, 51 years. A few months after that, this was produced. And then I think a few years after, the last of the series was the Speed 6, which is pretty much the snub nose version of this freaking thing. Um, and all three revolvers are nice the security six has adjustable rear sights whereas you know has in the rear sights they are adjustable and the uh, next few variants which are the security what's your security v uh the uh, service and the speed six they have non-adjustable sights they just have fixed rear sights which i actually found that's what they're called you know how i used to call them like whoever watches these videos you know how back then in my old prop reviews i used to call revolvers that had you know fixed sights in the bag like dug out rear sights I don't know why I called it that, but I don't freaking know. But I'm really excited to cover this revolver because, as I said, I've been wanting to make this revolver for a minute ever since I watched a video on it. Um, however, though, most versions of the Service 6 are uh, stainless steel. However, I, um, there are some out there that are, you know, um, blued or, you know, just like black. So I decided to do that instead because I don't do a good job at making stainless steel revolvers. Um, like, you know, painting them and stuff like that. Mostly because I don't have spray paint, nor do I have a very good you know silver paint to paint my revolver so yeah so let's go ahead and get on with the history of the service six so the service six was uh introduced a few months after the security six was um they're pretty much the exact same revolver except that this one has fixed sights on the back you know and all that good stuff and also i should point out is that all of the security six revolvers like all the series of those revolvers are all chambered in a number of calibers uh for the main three like the you know the the top caliber for all three of them was 357 magnum the model of choice that i have here is actually a 38 special only version because yes they do make those they do make the service six um in 38 special only because i love me some 38 special it looks so cool fucking thing i really want to shoot 38 special like small rant here but when i go to shoot a real gun one day I want I want to I want one of the first uh, caliber like one of the first calibers I want to shoot is a 38 special all the way but back to the freaking video um but there were also some variants of this in nine millimeter and yeah that's pretty much that the 357 magnum variants of these revolvers weren't necessarily issued to military they were mostly issued you know just like civilian marketing or whatever however the one thing that the reason why this is called the police service six is come on camera is because um, this was mostly issued to, you know, police departments. 
to for Luke Luger for Ruger to um to kind of cash in quote unquote, like cash in quote unquote on the whole freaking you know like police uh, service revolver you know boom at the time because you know mind you this was back in or the early 1970s and revolvers were still the king of duty sidearms for cops so this was you know amongst them however though even though from what i know this was not so popular with police it was actually fairly popular with military because these were also issued to military to replace the the uh gradually aging smith and wesson model 10 revolvers um and um uh they were issued to them and the variants that were issued to them in 38 special were designated the m108 whereas the variants that were issued to them in nine millimeter were de designated the m109 so that is a very interesting thing that these were issued to military as well i don't know dude it just i don't know it seems like revolvers that have fixed sights are always the sexiest to me and always the best looking but uh, other than that, let's go ahead and get on with the details of this. So let's go ahead and get on with the details. So as you can clearly see, I want to start off with the grip first, dude, because I have a feeling I think I went a little too overboard with this grip. So as you can clearly see here, I went a different step with the emblems and the, I guess you could say the end, the engrave, like the engravings on the grip. I did it on both sides, actually. Meanwhile, it wasn't supposed to be on the other side. Um, it was supposed to be only just on the left side of the gun and not on the right. Um, but it's like the engravings on it, but it's popping out on, on my version. And we even have the back strap here, like, you know, that freaking metal back strap on the revolver. And I decided to do this instead of fucking drawing it up there. And I also did it on the bottom, but I didn't do it up here because I was too lazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I actually did something like this with the emblems. Now I no longer have to draw this shit up here or whatever. So the hammer. So as with any Ruger, you know, revolver, the hammers always look weird. And also the back of here, the back of the gun always looks awfully weird. Um, you got the cylinder, cylinder release. As you can see, I actually have flutes in the cylinder. Look at that. And all that good stuff. Um, same thing on the other side with this thing right here. You have your little cylinder, you know, I guess you could say like the indents right here. And you also have this little details there. If I can pick it up. There we go. Uh, front sight, no rear sights, of course. Well, I guess you say the fixed rear sights. I don't really make the actual fixed sights on revolvers that have those. Um, but yeah, um, we also have, you know, all that stuff. And that's pretty much day. Um, and the size of this revolver is pretty big, especially for not necessarily so big, but it's a little too big for the actual Service 6 revolver. Because the actual Service 6 revolver. Um, it's actually, I think, smaller than this, but I don't know. This will suffice because I fucking love this revolver, and I really, I really, really loved how the way this revolver turned out. Also, some more facts about these guns on all of them is that production of all these guns stopped in 1987, and from what I know, it officially completely stopped the production in 1988. And they, um, you know, and with these revolvers, these will make room or make way for the new revolvers, uh, the new revolvers of Ruger's line, or the new revolvers that will later go on to be, go on to be in Ruger's line of revolvers, the SP-101, the GP-100, and the Ruger Red Hog, um, with all of those revolvers being chambered in 357 Magnum, um, so, yeah. That pretty much does it for this revolver. It's not, there's not much information on this revolver. It's not really used in any movies or any like, you know, really high rated movie, like, you know, hot, like big budget movies or anything like that. So there's not really many people I know that uses this revolver in movies. I tried looking everywhere to see if anyone would use this revolver in a movie, but no, apparently no one really uses this. It's either the Security 6 or the Speed 6 that is used um, <clears throat> in movies and shows and all that stuff. So that's kind of sad, but other than that, I don't really care. This revolver is nice. Um, and I would have brought another revolver out here to compare it to because, you know, Ruger revolvers look very similar, like with, especially with the trigger guard thing, you know, how the way the trigger guard is shaped and everything. They look really similar to Smith & Wesson revolvers. Um, just putting that out there, which I'm pretty sure everybody already knew. But yeah, uh, that pretty much does it for this revolver. So that was pretty quick. And I did not expect to get through that so quick. So, yeah. So, I guess it's going to safe to say we can go ahead and do a shooting test. But we're going to do it a little different this time and not stand in place. We're just going to go and just go all out with it. Oh, wait. I just fired four shots. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> That's the makeup.
up for the freaking um it's to make up for the skit that i ended up having to delete that pretty much does it for this video um i really love this revolver i actually plan on making the speed six which is the, fe the finale the final you know variant of the security six series of revolvers um i'm really i'm planning on making on that because it's pretty much just this revolver except it's just a snub nose because this one has a four inch barrel well, i think what four and four a four quarter a four four and quarter inch barrel if i'm even saying that right but i do know it's, it's a four inch barrel um but yeah, I'm really planning on making that, and who knows, if I actually do make the Speed 6, I after that, I might end up making the Security 6, which is the first of all of them. But I don't know, I really love this revolver, and I will forever love it, because this thing looks sexy. So, that pretty much does it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. I was about to shoot the camera, but I forgot I'm out of ammo. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.